What's up everybody? Chef Ride here, along with Chef Ro. Hey. We are going to drop off a load of scrap. Uh, I'm collecting a whole bunch of crap out behind the shop. Uh, the original 52 frame, a whole bunch of other car parts and junk. Uh, I'll see if I can get a shot of the trailer here in a minute. But that's what we're up to today. Uh, get a couple dollars for that. Maybe we'll swing out to the junkyard. Not really looking for anything, but uh, it's always nice to know what's out there. Um, I'm hot, sweaty, need a shower. Not my usual beautiful self. But uh, hang on a sec. I'll get back with you when we get there. Pulling into the scrap yard now. I ain't been here in a while. I gotta figure out. Can't remember where we're supposed to be. I think where that truck is. We the scales are up there. We're pulling down the scales. Talk to the dude. Figure out where we gotta go. I think there's a couple different uh, areas. We'll probably have to go across the scales a couple times. I've got some motors that usually get more than a just a plain clean scrap price. So we'll do that. We'll get across the scale and see where we gotta go. We're sitting here waiting to get unloaded. I'm gonna watch this sweet machine here. Probably the only crane machine you'll ever win at. Yep. Watch this dude's trailer get destroyed. <laughs> That's a little bright. We'll go back through the windshield. I don't know if that's a bunch of pallet racking. I don't know what that is. Steel. Money. Money. <laughs> Old boy's got his grinder ready. For some reason. <laughs> Don't know for what. Oops. Hey dude. You forgot your shit. I don't think that pallet's made of steel. Just put it right there for some reason. reason he feels the need to cut it. <laughs> hey, I want this piece. This is probably our spot right here. It looks like a bunch of car junk. Car parts. Set that right there. Alright, we don't need to watch this guy. 239 bucks payout, not bad. Um, kind of got screwed on the aluminum engine. That should have went separate, we got paid more for it. Uh, but the dude pitched it uh, and they said there was nothing they could do, so kind of got screwed on that. But all in all, for some shit I had laying around, not too bad. Now, we are gonna head into the junkyard and see what kind of treasures we can find. All right, now I'm sweating my ass off. Just left the junkyard, didn't really film anything. We're just running around looking at random crap. The only thing I scored was gas camp for Jeep Liberty. Um, so, yeah, I don't know, maybe we'll film some more when we get back to the shop, screw around. All right, later. What's up, y'all? Still hot, sweaty. 
Still need a shower. Um, we're hey, uh, pretty much screwing around in the shop now. Got a few things done. I guess we'll finish out this video, do a little little shop tour. It's a little bit of a wreck. Uh, I've been working in here. Haven't cleaned it in a couple days, so I don't know. Chef Bro is going to lead you around. We'll show you the shop and we'll film it. Be right back. And we're back. Hello, viewers. Here we at Cochran Enterprises. Come around this way. Table saw spot. Sort of. That's it's, where it's, it landed. Yep, yeah, it's pretty heavy. We don't like to move it a whole lot. Good put it on a dolly. This Pepsi machine. But Not really, though. It holds our beer. We push the button down so you don't have to pay 60 cents no more. Yeah, that gets expensive. Yep, yep. Air compressor spot right off in the corner. 60 gallon. Yep. You can um, hold strong. Yep. Hold but trusty. So far. You got ramrod up here. Say car ramrod. Say car ramrod. Microwave spot for all your uh, uh, little store food to uh, get along the way. That's for the rack of ribs that you munch on during the day. Mm-hmm. If you ever come up around uh, Michigan, Southwest Michigan, well, make sure you go to the little store. Best uh, full rack of ribs you'll buy within 50 miles. Or any distance. Mm-hmm. Little ashtray right here. Ha-ha! <laughs> sand in there. Nice airtight seal. If you will. Sort of. It smokes like a chimney. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Painting. So we picked this up off the side of the road yesterday because why would you drive by that? I hope it was free because it looked like it was free. <laughs> We're pretty if sure. anybody knows what that is or if we need to take it to Antique Roadshow, you let me know. Uh, it's pretty sweet. It's on the canvas. It's, it's not. It's not printed. Probably 100 years old yeah. or 500. Yeah. For the winter months, because as you know, up in Michigan, it gets pretty cold down here. Yes, it do. Got the wood burning stove. This is our pride and joy. This is our old, uh, our, our dad's old cabinet we used to have down in the basement when we were kids. But we retrofitted it to fit some of our fluids, our aerosols, cleaners, additives. As you can see by our fish. labels. Yeah. In case you can't. Oh, yeah, you can read it. And a hood shot. Because why not? Yep. All our organizers for screws and bolts and body pins yep. and whatnot. This is a must have. You got to have Absolutely. this stuff. Yep. Here, open a few more. Let's show them what kind of goodies we got. Uh, Chevro. Bro. Yes, bro. You messed up the drawer. Okay. I pulled out too far. Next one. You gotta have body pins, rivets, clips, rivets. You gotta yeah. have all this stuff. Anytime you wanna pull a dent out. If you don't, you playing. We got some of our electrical stuff here is getting kind of thin. Uh, picked pretty clean. Yeah. Need to restock. This one is. Stop got, it with the drawers. This one has gotten a lot of use over the years. I swear he's just an idiot. We never have this kind of problem. I think that's the only empty one. Yep. What's uh? This one. What we got here? This one. Must okay. have. Push pins, body clips. We got another drawer full of body shims. This kind of stuff you makes you it makes a big difference if you got this kind of stuff laying around. You don't have to run. This is the kind of stuff you don't really think about, but when you have it, yep, it's good to have. Then we got some of old Dad's old manuals yeah, you know, and stuff down here. If from, you ever need uh, paint codes from 1974 from <laughs> Dupont, uh, let us know. We got them. 
oil coming out of our butt. 40 billion gallons of oil that need to be gotten rid of. Because mm -hmm. we keep spilling it on the wall. We got a cheap little organizer here. This is where we house all our all our different size o-rings and cotter pins and again stuff it will be break you need fittings. to have laying around absolutely rubber grommets this is our bolt organizing station we haven't done a whole lot of organizing yet because we just we just got this in the mail another good thing to have thread so checker folks right here gotta then, have it then we got the trusty label maker right here so we can label all of our bolts there you go that and then an you got to have a cart full of crap there should always be a cart full of crap under your bolt bin always just random stuff random bars and grinders random pins, stuff deck screws uh kitty litter which does not belong in this shop i don't know if you guys know but i despise kitty litter it gets everywhere it gets in your room you can never get it all up i hate it but just in case of a large emergency. <laughs> um, yeah, jack, sweet snap-on light. Tranny jack for underlift. That is, you can't do this shit without it. And a uh, oil drain, which is full. If you ever get one, make sure that it's always full and overflowing and leaking. <laughs> now this is my personal toolbox, Chef Bro's box. Built this when I was uh, 14 years old. That's the crap drawer. It only weighs just under 8,000 pounds. <laughs> Got some wrenches and uh, I mean uh, some pliers and, and tin snips and, and have you. And then some random air tools and, and body tools and stuff. Here is my pride and joy drawer. So this is what I did. So I, I organized it by metric and standard and by drive. So this one's gonna be uh, your uh, metric and uh, no, half inch drive. And I can take them out and I can take it to whatever job I want to on my rolly cart. Each one comes out individually, quarter inch drive metric. This is my favorite way with socket rails. This is my favorite way of organizing. The, the good thing about sockets. these is if you ever do this, make sure that you know they don't come off because you don't want them coming off. You know, make sure that the whole thing comes up. It's a it's a small price to pay for having everything <laughs> organized. Because as you can see, Chef Rod's channel or Chef Rod's toolbox. Is, I let's see. I enjoy the hunt. Yeah. You know, it's a, it, yeah the, the, the thrill of the chase. Right there. Oh yeah. You know. It works. But I did end up organizing a little bit. Which of I have. Chef Rod's. I've started to, to start to screw it up i'm working on it i'll get there um, and i'll fix it again and make sure that your floor is on an angle too so all your drawers fly open that's cool too this is chef rod's son's chain or uh, son's cool box we've He's got i gave it to him he's been slowly we've been getting him in. his own tools as he needs them yep. he's filling his stuff up yep. he These likes to his have his own right tools here. so these are my wrenches like to keep things somewhat organized. Make sure you got some Astro Grip gloves and the random bottle of tequila rolls. Too, so make sure you get large of those kind of gloves. Yeah, um, if you got big sausage and half broken hands like mine, uh, medium just not going to work. Fingers that go a little to the left. Just yeah, he's. His curves to the left. <laughs> and then this toolbox got it free from the Navy. I acquired it. So this is just mostly junk stuff. Thanks, and, Navy. And then some some child sets. Don't really belong you know, in a Those probably bro belong in a trunk somewhere, mm -hmm. just in case. Is this is one of our dad's old box? toolboxes that been in the garage after he passed. We this is one that we took over here. We don't really take anything out of it. No, every, everything stays exactly. Actually, we do take some stuff out of it because he'd be rolling over in his grave if he saw that his socket sets were disorganized. So, mm -hmm. shh. But I mean, there's there's still just a lot. A in lot general, we don't take much here. out of it. 
This is a shelf of some sort we will use for something. Yeah, we'll put something on it. That yeah. is a KTM 350 <laughs> two-stroke, AKA Death Trap. It's fast, it's bad, I know. <laughs> the hood for the 52 back there. Yeah. Um, always make sure you got a random pile of guns in your shop. Uh, tires, got a paddle for the KTM, some spare tires, some other tires for the smaller bikes. Uh, let's see, some other 52 fenders, a rear end that I'm probably not going to use, some random drive shafts, and don't forget a 62 bug. You need one of those. This is actually my mother-in-law's. Um, it's been in here for a couple of years. It actually runs and drives great. It's a cool little car. She hasn't driven it on the road in a couple of years. Uh, I need to put a wheel cylinder in it. I don't know. So here it is. It's cool. And your other rolling cart full of? This is all LS stuff off the LS for the 52. 5 sixteenths. This is where I put pretty much all the accessories and everything I pull off the motor when I yank it apart. So that at least everything's on one cart. Torches. We usually have them up on a dolly, but we use the dolly to move the motor so we can take it to the scrap yard earlier. Yeah. So absolute must. Especially working up in Michigan and in the, some of these Midwest states, you're going to have a lot of rust. Absolute must to get some of these bolts off. This is the motorcycle lift from hell. It's actually a really sweet lift. It's air operated. Um, works great. For, you know, if you work on bikes, um, I got one with side extension so you can put a lawnmower, the golf cart, anything on there. But for the bikes, it's, it's great. Because um, if you're old and shitty like me your back hurts it sucks sitting on the ground so that's great um, until you fill it with crap that sits there for a year and a half um, yeah I'll clean that off um, don't forget a busted ass golf cart gotta have one of those um, we've had this for quite a few years it is a 36 volt electric um, Let's see, the motor, the electric motor finally burned out on me earlier this summer or this spring. Um, so it needs a new motor. The batteries are pretty much shot. I put those in new, but it's been five, six years. They're about done. Um, so I don't know. Let me know if you want to see uh, maybe a possible gas conversion. Because honestly, by the time I replace the motor and all six batteries, I, I could have went and bought another cart. So maybe... Maybe we'll do some sort of weird or stupid conversion on it, just because why not? Uh, okay, what else we got? We got a tire machine over here, which is oh, it makes it makes life so much easier, especially when you're not trying to do things by hand with a tire iron, and you can still make pretty good money off not a lot of work. Super, uh, it's super. Convenient. It's best suited to doing your own stuff. Because, hey, who likes bringing tires in to go have mounted? Yeah, it's not cheap anymore. It used to be a lot cheaper. As well as a balancer. Uh, doesn't make a whole lot of sense to mount tires if you can't balance them. So, there's that. Which, which you got for a steel. I did. And you hooked up a little PC monitor. Up Turns there. out, I bought this from a shop. Dirt cheap. If anybody knows the Hunter machines, they're great machines. This is a Road Force machine. Uh, very expensive. This is a ten, twelve thousand dollar machine. I bought for one hundred and fifty bucks because the shop I bought it from, his insurance company, bought him a new machine when the screen kept or quit working. Uh, turns out you can just plug in a computer monitor. Ta-da! Works just fine. It calibrates out just fine. Works great. Um, so we got the boys' dirt bikes. These are KLX and DRZ one tens. The DRZ, the yellow one, has a 143 big bore kit in it. Um, see, I just tore down the motor last week and I had to replace input shaft. If any of you guys know these bikes, they like to break those input shafts, especially when the kids are doing neutral drops in them all the time. Uh, they don't like that. Uh, front clip for the 52, sitting there. And this thing. Got this thing about a week ago from a friend of mine. Uh, he acquired it from a friend, hadn't ran in a couple years. Said I, he said, I can't figure it out. 
um, you can have it. So I have it. Uh, it took me about 20 minutes. We put a battery in it, we clean the carb, and she's a runner. Sweet little moped. Get anything better than free. That's right. I don't know what I'm gonna do with it, but hey, it's a moped. Uh, ooh, another thing I acquired a couple days ago, again, for free. 15 horse Evan Rude electric start, nice motor, short shaft, it's for a dinghy. Um, so I'm looking, currently looking for a dinghy. That's what this will go on shortly. Pilot rack full of shit, 52 box, and of course, the famous 52 Chevy five window pickup. The LS is sitting in there. Uh, we've been pretty busy in the shop lately. Sooner or later, we will we will get back to some more videos and we will get back to work on this thing. Um, headers. I don't think I've shown you guys my Camaro in any of the videos yet, but I have a 2011 Camaro SS. I had these long tube headers along with full three inch exhaust on there. The wife got sick of the noise and quite frankly, I was a little bit too. It was really loud and sounded awesome, but drive it any distance, you kind of get sick of it. So we put all the stock stuff back on and I'm gonna utilize this somewhere else. What else we got? Chef bro. Shoot, we're almost around to the other, other side. Parts washer, but we need to run water out here first. I, I love parts washer personally. Actually, water doesn't go into parts washer, solvent does. But, <laughs> that's another issue. <laughs> um, a wood lathe that I thought was sweet and bought and I made one thing with it. So, wood lathe for sale. Um, my crossbow, a random pile of crap that needs to be cleaned up. Another fishing pole. Uh, jet ski motor for this. Um, I pulled the motor out of it last year, was having issues with it. Uh, I don't really have any plans of putting it back in because I don't. Uh, my other jet ski is currently in the water. That is a Sea Dew GTX 780. Uh, no issues with that one. Um, that is parked next to my boat in the slip right now so whatever but there's that dark our two trucks off in the background looking all sexy and whatnot oh yeah sitting back there but that's pretty much the shop um see we'll get a we'll get a wide angle of everything in here but we figured we'd do a shop tour some people ask about the shop it is 40 by 64 um, like I said kind of a wreck but you know what it's pretty easy to keep things uh, perfect when you don't do anything <laughs> that is not the case here so anything anybody else wants to see drop us a comment let us know uh, we'll make some videos on whatever you want to see until then what do you got to say, Shebro? Like, comment, subscribe.